Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. It is, um, it is an update video, but it is quite late in doing this update video, so I do apologise guys, but we are on to uh, 0 0.4.0.1 0 .1 at the time of this recording on this video here. So, what they've effectively done is they've just enabled uh, all of level of tier of uh, wood to be uh, consumed as charcoal so we're gonna have a quick look and see what that looks like um, so anything from tier 2 onwards unfortunately for, for tier 1 or bamboo we can't get charcoal out of that um, now there is uh, some changes with language updates and also the master healer feel free to use several potions in a row for gradual healing to free your hands uh, before a battle so by the sounds of that, it, it sort of sounds like as we're sort of being a little bit pedestrian in our, um, in our adventures, we can utilize the heals in a quicker um, time frame without having to wait for the cooldown by the so sounds of things. Um, but yeah, that's my interpretation on it. You guys let me know what... Um, uh, if that's uh, any different for you guys or anything like that, but here we go. We've got the the standard charcoal there. We've also got this charcoal, and then we've also got that charcoal. You, you're going to see that all of these are going to require four pieces of uh, logging in order for you to uh, craft the set charcoal there. So um, at the moment, I think I'm pretty good with all of my inventory here. Actually, I might want to. Um, craft up a little bit of these fellas here. Actually, that's all changed to charcoal too. That was actually logging in the previous update. There you go. So it takes one bit of charcoal for copper ingots, uh, one as well for bronze, uh, two for your iron, and then obviously three for the steel, which I think it's all been the same before, but I'm pretty sure that this was, um, this required two pieces of, of log, um, in order to craft so there you go um so that's a little bit different that's cool so i'm just gonna do a full stack of copper just so that i've got it there and i don't have any more but i do have a bit of bronze as it sits so um for anything else that's changed in the game i don't think we've got any sort of other changes um let's have a quick look i'm gonna quickly go into my uh workbenches here because at the moment, I think I've done all of the necessary upgrades now. Um, so, Herbalist is at max, Gun Working Bench is at max, Armor is at max, uh, the Workshop is at max, and I think the Forge is now at max too. So, yeah. So, I can pretty much craft everything that's available in the game. Um, well, I say that, but I mean any everything that I've sort of um, come across with regards to blueprints and all that sort of stuff um, that we can go ahead and, um, and utilize now, which is good. The only thing that I haven't done yet is I haven't upgraded the repair bench. So the repair bench is probably the last thing on the list that I was thinking of doing. Um, so I'm obviously going to need a little bit of uh, resources there for that, but for now I don't think I uh, necessarily uh, need to go down that pathway. Um, but for me, at the moment, I've done everything that I've sort of wanted to sort of accomplish at this point in time, but I guess the biggest thing that I probably want to do is, um, well, here we go. I'm thinking of expanding the, um, the base surrounds out by one row, just so I can actually get a little bit more, um, space. And I'm sort of preempting that more so for future updates and things like that. Uh, that may come into play. So yeah, that's what I'm sort of looking at at the moment, but I'm still thinking about it. I just haven't really sort of come down uh, to that decision just yet. But uh, in order for me to do that, I've got to work out which side that I want to sort of um, uh, uh, blow out by one uh, space here, because what I'm going to need to do is it's not only just um, uh, pushing everything out by one, I've got to think about expanding um, the, the tileage coming out and then also I've got to invest in the um, in the right resources to build up uh, the the walls so to speak so yeah that's probably going to be the next thing on my list of, th of things to do but um, yeah so it's just all about you know coming around and uh, upgrading uh, you know th those sort of workbenches and stuff like that sorry not those workbenches those walls and yeah just expanding um, for the right uh, you know uh, for 
you know, for the right proportion, how I sort of want to do it. So I think I know which way I want to, I want to go. It's just, you know, all about doing the implementation side of things is the, um, yeah, is the structure of things really. Um, but for the minute, the reason why I'm in here, I just want to see what else I need to do any sort of upgrades or any sort of available upgrades uh, for the minute. And everything needs tier four, except for that, which I can actually upgrade now. So um, that requires iron tools. That's not a problem because we've got those in loads, but I need a basalt floor. Okay, so let's go and upgrade basalt floor. Let's go to workstation and let's call to upgrade. Done. So that's upgrading, um, that requires tier 5, that's no problem, that requires uh, tier 4 as well, which I just need one iron plate, which I think I need a couple for those as well, so which is not too bad, but in all honesty, that's basically what I'd be looking at doing, um, and then afterwards, it'd be just looking at upgrading some of my internal chests, uh, just so I can get the additional um, uh, storage capacity, but that's basically where I'm at guys. That's pretty much it, really. Um, I guess really what I'll sort of do for today's video is we'll, we'll definitely head out, of course, um, and we'll uh, go and tackle uh, some. Now let's go ahead and equip you. Let's go ahead and, oop, no, I want to keep you. So let me do that. And this can go in here. And we'll probably go out to the south and we'll try and get some, uh, some more rosewood and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, we'll just have a bit of a casual chat. But yeah, that's basically where things are at at the moment. So it doesn't look like um, we've got a few bunnies running around actually um, as well. I've left them. I didn't really want to um, uh, kill them or anything like that. I could. Don't get me wrong because it's going to give me some thin hide and whatnot, which is obviously going to be um, you know beneficial for me, of course. Uh, while we're going, let's go ahead and stop at the, um, at the merchant ship here. And we'll see what's what, and hopefully we'll get some um, pretty decent bits and pieces. But um, in all honesty, we're getting we're in the final month of the year, so I think it's already sort of been confirmed already where we are getting um, a Christmas update. So there's going to be a Christmas, uh, sorry, Christmas themed uh, update, which is basically the huge. Which um, if you guys don't know already, it's more or less we're going to have a temporary island that's going to pop up. There's going to be some sort of uh, structure to that where we're going to need to find certain um, tokens and that's going to basically be the currency for us to purchase um, you know, themed um, uh, items or so whether that be uh, weaponry, armor and the like. So I guess that's basically going to uh, you know, close out the year so to speak. So unfortunately we're not going to get any sort of major updates at the at this side of 2022 okay so we're basically done for the year i would say um and it's just about it's all about looking forward to the following year okay so 2023 which i feel it's going to be huge for um uh, film mutiny as a game as a whole so i feel like that we're going to get some massive updates um i would expect to see some massive expansion uh, you know come into the game but yeah that's that's just going to be my thoughts about it and i've already gone over that quite extensively so really to be honest with you i'm not going to be um uh looking to do any sort of um you know additional uh, explaining as, as to how or what i think is going to happen um now other thing i wanted to sort of quickly uh, explain here while we're while we're sort of on the subject i recently got this fellow here um through the temple of trials i'm yet to do uh, another run out of uh, at that so i'm going to do that in my own time um but let's quickly walk around cool so we're good in the southern zones basically maybe not for the purples but for the most part we should be able to navigate ourselves uh, throughout the island a little bit more easier um, without having to worry about you know animals attacking us things like that which is great the only thing that we're going to need to worry about is just your, your standard bandits and the the cursed captain as well so let's um let's quickly duck out um and we'll obviously uh jump back in and uh, continue the harvest, if you will. So we've got these fellas over here. Now, I could attack these guys here, but these are not the... I mean, look, I can't really be bothered, to be honest with you. Um, but I think that's the one where you're not going to get ambushed, so you should be right if you were to do that yourself. Um, but yeah, look, today I'm not going to do that. Um, I really just want to fundamentally focus on um, just gravitating to getting the main resources. And I'm going to go for healing stuff as well as we sort of go along. 
Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who are you? You're gonna attack me, aren't you? Boom. You're just gonna stay there for me? I hope you do. Come back here. I think you're gonna get... I think you're gonna make it out before I even shoot you down. Unfortunately. I'll be lucky if I get him. I got him. Hey, hey, there we go. Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> Let's grab that. Not interested in that. Um, but these clothing... Ah, uh, should I take them? I don't really, uh, do I want them? You know what, it's nearly a full set of clothes. Let's just, let's just hang on to them. And, uh, yeah, we'll continue on. But yeah, look, like I said before, um, it's going to be a Christmas update. Um, I, I would suspect that's probably going to happen in the next week or so, if anything. Um, Ocelot is good with us as well, which is good. Uh, no problems there. But yeah, look, I think it's going to happen in the next week or so. Um, typically it sort of happens after the first week of the new month that we're going to get the new update. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely run, um, some coverage on that. And at least you guys will get a bit of a squeeze at it. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of take things from there. But otherwise, um, I hope they've, um, look, I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be a decent, um, update for that anyway. And hopefully we'll get some pretty cool stuff in there. But look, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've just noticed the, um, oh, that was quick. Ooh, that was really, really quick. Very, very, very quick. Let's, um... Let's quickly grab a few portions of, um, berries there. Let's test that, um... Uh, the regen for, um... For using, uh, heals and whatnot. Because at least we get to sell... Oh, hang on. Do we have hemp now? That's new. I've never come across hemp around here. That is so new. Okay. Are they starting to expand more stuff into... Into each southern zone here? That's interesting. That wasn't obviously in the patch notes. Okay, okay. I think, okay. So I think we stumbled across some... Uh, some hidden... Uh, yeah. Some hidden, um... Uh, additions to the game. That's pretty... That's pretty neat pretty neat indeed so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly whisk my way around as I sort of did on the way in kind of thing because I just want to see if I've missed out um, oh hello okay so you guys here I'm getting twos and threes which is what I sort of wanted there we go look at that Okay, you had coral, you had linen. Oop, no, 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 no. Well, I may as well sort of pick up what we sort of, um... What we sort of did here. Ooh, hello. Let's just switch to this. And switch back. Boom. Okay, beautiful. We'll see what's in here. wonder if there's any sort of good loot now. Um, ooh, I'll take that. Yeah, we'll take that with us. But yeah, I've got, I've got a stack of this. But look, I'm, I'm actually surprised that we've got some hemp in here. That's interesting. I didn't think that was a thing. Well, it wasn't a thing. What am I saying? I know I know it wasn't a thing. I should know. I run these quite often. These zones. Just so I can get particular bits and pieces. Let's just see some pirate. Um, because I wasn't actually really searching for it. At all. So let me just pick up this. And I wonder if there's like a little capping or anything like that. So let's just go boom, boom, boom. Okay. So it's like a second, not even. So you can basically just do that. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. It's a nice, it's a, it's a little delay, but it's not that bad. All right, let's look, let's head out anyway. But I can see some minor visual changes here and there within the, within the update, which is quite neat. Um, I really want to sort of travel to another zone real quick, just to sort of see if there's anything else so let's go to the iron island um pick up some meteorite while i'm there as well may as well um but yeah look i've got a little bit of rosewood um generally speaking that's a little bit more than what i'm what you normally would get in that zone so it looks like they've sort of increased the drop rate hmm that's interesting because i think at the most i've i've gotten about probably into the 30s or 40s 
The fact that we got a little bit extra out of that, which um, it might suspectful be um, some potential um, additions for future updates, guys. Possibly. Because when you, when you notice these sort of little quirks here and there, um, it sort of gives you that impression that, okay, is something coming? I reckon something's coming. Look, it's not going to happen this year. I don't think it will. I'll be very surprised. Actually, look, I'll call it now. I'll be very surprised if we get a major update before the year's, uh, the year's end. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think that that's going to happen. I think it's just going to be uh, the Christmas update, which I completely expect that what it's going to be, um, and nothing more uh, or nothing less. But still, uh, the fact that there, there's some slightly added additions to each uh to the zone there Oop. should have just went back but that's okay um but yeah look i think i'm just just trying to think here i mean look i haven't jumped into the game since the update unfortunately i've had some things um uh, just you know real life circumstances guys um you know how it is there's only so much that you can do um but look as i'm sort of just uh rolling around here i haven't seen anything oh look 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 so we've got some charcoal here as well okay so that's something new as well um because i haven't seen charcoal in these zones and you get 12 pieces with that one there it was a big log so i'm interested to see what we get out of this one here okay so that one broke pretty pretty quickly so we got 18 pieces there let's get rid of that um yeah okay that is interesting uh, where's that limestone? Let's get rid of that limestone. But the meteorite. Okay, here we go. There's some a little bit more meteorite here. I'll tell you what, it's such a dream now just walking through without having to worry about, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, worrying about um, uh, animals taking, coming after you and whatnot. It's so much better. So finally got some decent stats look the the temple of trolls does do um it has its place right and that's what that place is for you know you, you get those little perks and things like that all right now this is going to be interesting will i be okay with a no i will not be all right so that's fine not a problem at all so let's go and leave the mad gorilla um yeah look i haven't there wasn't really anything that's notable in the iron islands we'll quickly go to basalt i don't have to really go here because i know what's going to be there anyway um well it's no really no different right um but i'm just interested to see if there was anything uh different in each of these three zones so it looks like they've added some little bits and pieces here and there i'll be surprised if they loaded meteorite into this zone as well it, it'll make sense if they did if there was maybe like one or two nodes potentially um but I don't think the Viburna was in here last time. So that's something different. There's a little bit of Viburna in, in here. Well, there you go. But like I said, I'll be interested to see if there will be any sort of meteorite in here. So we'll do a quick sweep. We'll call it a video. But look, I'm looking forward to the Christmas update. Hopefully we'll get something good out of it. Or it's going to make a lot of um, people's worthwhile. Uh, to participate because I know there's some people that prefer not to which is fine um, And I know there's other people that really go hard on it. I'm sort of in between it for me It really sort of comes down to um, what type of um, uh, Items are available in the up, uh, you know in the said uh, event so that, that that's just my opinion on it. I mean regularly I'm not much of a participator, um, and that's just for me because I, I prefer to do other things. I've got other goals in mind that I need to do, but I think I'm sort of at a point now that I've um, sort of maximized things like um, like my workstations. I'm sort of looking at the possibility of um, expanding my base in a way, um, and I'm only doing that for future preparations and things like that uh, in terms of game expandability. Um, because like I said, I feel like there's going to be some expansion um, next year. Uh, I, I obviously don't know what that looks like, but I mean, it's just me thinking that it's going to happen in a way. Let's see what happens if I just kill this fella here. He's not going anywhere, and this is taking so long for him to... No! <laughs> he fell. 
he fell out of the zone, but that's okay. Um, look, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for today. So, look, like I said, it wasn't, unfortunately, it was a bit of a belated update um, on my side, but, you know, there are some little add-ins, and I would suspect there's going to be some sprinkles here and there in the other um, zones as well. Uh, so that's what my gut feeling says. If there's, if there's stuff that's been added in the south, surely there's going to be things added in the other regions as well. Um, like I said, you have to go in here to find out exactly what's in there, but I think for the most part, um, like I said, there's just been some little added additions in the in these three little zone clusters. But yeah, look, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like I said before. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video anyway. Let me know what your thoughts are going to be. Um, what do you what do you feel like it's going to happen for the Christmas update? Is it going to be you know much of the same? Do you feel like there's going to be something different? And yeah, look, share your thoughts about these little inklings here that what could potentially lead to future updates. Um, yeah, but look, bring on 2023. Hopefully we'll have a massive year with Mutiny. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the like button, a share if you can. And if you guys are new to the channel, or if you're not and you hadn't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon. Anyway guys, take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one.